Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Richard. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about a disease that we treat every day. And that disease is obesity. So what is obesity? It is a disease of excess amounts of fat stores. This is a multifactorial problem. It is a lifelong condition. It is progressive, potentially life-threatening, and very costly. And it is important that we address this not only in the individual base, on an individual basis, but in our society. This is a uh, source of uh, many different studies. but We found that the, the genes that you get from your parents, as well as how well your body stores energy uh, as fat, what you do with your eating and your exercise habits plays a role. Your surroundings, uh, what part of the country you're from, uh, also plays a role. There are also other things that go along with psychological factors, such as binge eating disorders, uh, depression, anxiety. These things all play a role in uh, contributing to the problem of medical obesity. Typically, we've got some obesity trends that um, are disturbing. In the late to mid-80s, the percentage of people in the United States who were obese was less than, less than 10%. That number has risen dramatically over the past um, uh, 20 to 30 years. And today, we have an obesity rate almost 30% in some states in the United States. We know there are about 40 or 50 medical problems that are directly attributable to obesity. Uh, obesity, the uh, extra fat cells impact the lungs, the liver, uh, the gallbladder, uh, affects the female hormones, affects heart disease, blood pressure, diabetes. We know that there are cancers that are directly attributable to uh, the obesity epidemic. Uh, breast cancers, uterus cancers, cervical cancers, colon cancers all have a higher rate of incidence and a lower survivability secondary to being obese. And the bottom line is that obesity increases our risk of dying. The more obese a person is, the more likely they are to die um, prematurely when compared to someone at a normal weight. So this disease is something that is extremely dangerous, extremely costly, and certainly worth treating. Currently in the United States, there are medications that have been recently uh, approved by the FDA for treatment of obesity, such as Quisimia, Contrave, and Belvic. Uh, these new medical treatments um, provide some hope for patients with a lower body mass index or lower BMI. On the horizon are some new non-surgical procedures, such as the intragastric balloon, um, a gastric sleeve. Uh, these procedures can be performed without surgery and they're intended to have uh, patients lose between 10 and maybe 50 pounds. Some of these procedures are um, temporary. They have to be removed at six, at, uh, six months or so. But the, the future for non-surgical treatment of obesity is pretty bright. One of the most common questions we get about surgical options for a patient is who qualifies for a weight loss surgery, uh, also known as a bariatric surgery. Well, it's important to have a, a larger BMI, a BMI of 35, with a comorbidity, which is also a, called a medical problem that goes along with the obesity, or BMI of 40 without those things. A patient should be healthy enough to go undergo major surgery. The patient should have attempted medical weight loss in the past. We don't consider surgical weight loss as a primary option for surgery, but rather for those patients who've made good faith efforts to lose weight uh, through other means. Patients should be uh, without alcohol or drug problems. They should be psychologically stable, we work together with a multidisciplinary team to make sure that your mind, your body, and your spirit are ready for surgery uh, when that time is, is right. And the patient should also be made aware of the risks and the benefits of the procedure. And for that reason, we have a surgical consultation with one of the surgeons prior to any scheduled surgery. We have a lifelong commitment to our patients. We want to make sure that we are following you for the rest of your life and that all of our patients preoperatively are committed to uh, lifelong follow-up, lifelong st uh, lifestyle changes to make sure that we're not just doing surgery in the short term, but they're helping you with long-term weight loss and success, not just for days or weeks or months or years, but for decades.